Attention, due to the nature of the film's discussed, the Civil Gore podcast may contain adult language and themes. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to a special commentary episode of the Civil Gore podcast. I am Tim. And this is Brian. And we have a very special summer treat for you today. Uh, we are going to watch Piranha 3 Double D. Yeah, three double. Uh, no, I, I think well, it's just double D now. I think it's just double D. Yeah. And, and when when Tim said treat, that's definitely should be in quotes <laughs> because we we depending on what you think of this movie, you'll you'll let us know if you think it's that's a treat. Right. <laughs> Hearing us again, of course, <laughs> is the treat. But yeah. so the idea behind this, if you've never done one of our previous commentaries, is go ahead and rent the movie. You can rent it digitally on YouTube, Amazon Prime, those type of places, or if you have the Blu-ray, you can pop that in. We're going to queue it up to the three-second mark. There's, you're going to see a Radius TWC logo on your screen. So just make sure you pause at that three-second mark. And when we say go, hit play. We're all going to hit play together, and we're going to record this thing live. Yes. So now just just a little, uh, 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 I guess, backstory. I have seen this, but it was a long time ago. I only saw it once. Tim has not seen this, right? Right. I have not seen this. But there is a connection, which Tim could go into for just a couple seconds before uh, we start this, so he could tell you why we picked this movie. And it's no, it's not just because of all the boobs. Right. (laughs) Although that's a plus. We picked this movie because this was actually filmed in my hometown at a local water park that I frequent every summer. So I'll be able to talk a little bit about the filming location because I know all the locations in this movie that was filmed. I actually did not know that this movie was filmed in my hometown until Brian (laughs) mentioned it, so... Yeah, or Tim would be standing there yeah, watching exactly. this scene. So, uh, yeah, and I'm sure that's exactly what you guys are going to want to hear when you're when you're seeing all these boobs bouncing around the screen. You're going to want to hear Tim's insight <laughs> on the actual water park. Right now, we'll, <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, okay, it should be fun though. So, everybody, pause the podcast oh. if you haven't already to cue your yes. movie up, get to that three second mark, and when I I'm going to count down from three, and when I say go, hit play. All right, you ready, Brian? Yes. I am ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. And mine didn't work. Awesome. <laughs> it did not it work, did not work, actually. It did not start for some reason. Oh, hang on. Let me back it up. Yeah. Well, we could do that. That This is the part at least we could do over. Thank God. Yeah, hang on. <sighs> Sorry. I, knew you. I didn't think you would have any editing, but now you have a little snippet to edit, I guess. All right. <laughs> ah, All right. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, I'm just going to do the countdown. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> sorry, Tim. It's wait. A, it's you know what? All right, I think I figured out what happened. All right, right start it over. I'm sorry. All right, hang on. <laughs> this is gonna. This is a killer. Uh, God, this stupid Blu-ray player. Okay. Okay, ready. I think I have to hit unpause and not play again. That's the uh, problem. Okay. okay, ready. All right. Yes. Three, two, one, go. Okay, we are rolling. We are rolling. Dimension Films. I always think of Scream when I see Dimension. (laughs) Right, don't you? It's it's always Scream. It's it's nothing else but Scream. Oh, wow. This looks like my high school spring break. Yeah, this was nowhere near mine. (laughs) I'm just... I'm obviously kidding there. Yeah. So... Very excited. Oh, there's nice nice close-ups, of course. We're going to get this. Uh, sorry to all our female listeners. We are not trying to just gratify this movie. It's just No, but it's summery. You, you know, you have to. It's summer. Uh, it's, that, it's, it's like a, bill, a Jaws billboard, in a way. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah, there is a lot of Jaws jokes through these this series of films. I'm just glad they got Christopher Lloyd back because he was so great in the yeah. first one. This would be so much fun to film. <laughs> Sit down in the water in oh. bikinis and blood and. Oh right, absolutely. S- establishing shots are exciting, though, right? <laughs> so, do you remember the end of the first one? What, what happened? Not. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Okay. Okay. I'll give you a, a summary. Piranhas ate everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> including Jerry O'Connell. Okay. Oh, those boats did not fare well. Oh, I'm sure Uh-oh. it can. Yeah. I think so with the whole uh let's see what's happening. <laughs> 
rip off jaw shot here. Yeah. <laughs> Very ominous opening though now from from the frivolity of just a I few really... seconds ago. What is this? Oh, it's a tunnel. I don't know. It's. Uh, yeah, it's. I wish we could have watched this actually in 3D. I because the ver by the time uh, this came out. Uh, on Blu-ray, it was when uh, 3D Blu-rays were big, so they didn't give the glasses with it. You had to have the TV. Oh. So, because I'm watching it on Blu-ray, and it has the, um, so it, it comes with a Blu-ray 3D, a Blu-ray, a DVD, and digital copy, except they never signed up for the digital copy in time, and now that uh, service that does it doesn't even make it available anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Stars, D Stars digital, digital Media is no longer a website. Okay, someone's out there in the water. So it's like a setting for Hatchet. It does. Oh my god, it totally <laughs> does. Look, there's a there's the guy, like Yeah. There's a swamp guy from Hatchet. Are you sure we didn't put Victor Crowley on by mistake? <laughs> so hopefully everyone's at three six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds. <laughs> yeah. Just making sure everyone's queued up still. Okay. Oh, that's this guy be bad. inexplicably fell, yeah. Oh, Gary Busey, it's okay if he dies. Yeah, look, you know, so so nothing can be wrong when Gary Busey's involved. <laughs> Gotta love uh, Gary Busey. Yeah, he's just being... It's so funny, when you when you see Gary Busey this early into the movie, and you know he's not, like, the s star of it, yeah. something bad's gonna happen. Oh, look, it's like Jurassic Park. You found, like... Piranha things, eggs? Crystallizing eggs, yeah. I wonder if that's like a uh, kind of a nod to you know the the original Piranha the two the spawning yeah you know, maybe they did that which is coming out on Blu-ray it is in a which week, you, couple weeks yes but you probably knew about it as of yesterday or a couple days ago depending on that's when you right. listen to this commentary because <laughs> we we have not yet recorded yeah. that episode we're recording yet. from the past the from the future trickery. yes what on earth is this but he's got like a big a decorated eggs. Christmas tree. I know that they, they they missed the opportunity there to make those ornaments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually pretty like uh, uh, together in this movie so far, Gary. Busey. Yeah, he is. Well, it's because he's acting. That's true. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, he can act normal, but when he's like, <laughs> you ever see his real interviews? He's crazy. Yeah, he he's so awesome. Job. But it but makes him so awesome. Fart jokes. Fart wow, jokes already. Go. Wow. Yeah. And now we know what kind of movie this will be. <laughs> yep. This is definitely uh, not in the level of Jacques Cousteau. Uh, those those shows well, he used to do where bad it was like idea. real. Oh uh, yeah. Let me let me uh, light this. Place on fire. <laughs> and now he opened up all the eggs. <laughs> this probably is better in 3D. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's probably amazing in 3D. I saw the first one in 3D. The f first Piranha in 3D, but... I saw it in the theater. This one I did not. Yeah, I don't, I never went to see this one. I did see the first one in the theater. I do remember that. Yeah. Yeah, my friend Mark and I went, so we had to, but that was because, you know, that was when, like, I remember the 3D things were pretty, not a, well, they weren't as common as they are now. But right. It was kind of like that birth of that new type of 3D for a while, I think. Well, I went to see it because I remembered seeing the original Piranha when I was very young, and it kind of scarred me, so I kind of had to go see the remake. Oh yeah, that gotta love Gary. That <laughs> that's awesome. I forgot about that. Oh, the title sequence. That's TV. a great title sequence. Yeah, and that was great. Like Gary Busey just biting the head off of a piranha because you know he probably does that at least once a week. Okay, so here's our water park. Uh, this yay the big wet in this movie. Uh, in real life, this water park is called Jungle Rapids. It was actually. It's always been there as long as I can remember. Even when I was a little kid, I used to go, but it did not look like this. They basically that, only had three water slides, a baby slide, a medium slide, and a 
expert slide, if you will. And they were very simple. And then uh, many years ago, probably 15, 20 years ago, they tore all that down and just redid it. And they made the water slide section of the old water park turned into a mini golf. And then they built an entirely new water park back behind it, which is what wow. you're seeing here. And from these shots, it looks much the same. We don't, you know, obviously they don't have all the banners and, and flags boobs. and boobs. And yeah, the <laughs> girls don't look like that. But yeah. uh, most of the slides and stuff you see are, are there. That's cool. And you recognize that. That's Daniel Panabaker, of course, from Friday the 13th, yeah. uh, the remake. Yep. So she was in that. Gotta love David Koechner. He's oh, another God. one of those guys. Yeah, one of like, my favorites. He was he was great as uh oh my god what's his name an anchorman uh, yeah <laughs> I forgot his oh my god I totally the, uh, forgot his uh the slide behind him is my kid's absolute favorite the one with the rock facade there oh really yeah it's a it's basically just a simple um just a simple water slide you know but it's a lot of fun it's... ooh the, we don't have don't that either <laughs> yeah they took that out I could see I yeah. T- Tim is a very good parent. I don't think he'd be bringing his kids no. still to this water park if it was. Uh, I would be. I'd have a season pass on. if there was this this yeah. water park. Yeah, Tim would have. The I would pass, have the yes. pass. But he, yeah. Would this be a uh, future Costa Radio meetup spot? I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you imagine them not realizing what was going on and they just picked this water park? Oh first? my gosh. Now, that's a neat shot there because there is no water view. So what you're seeing here is not actually in the water park. This is a completely different location. Yeah, I bet I bet you these pools were not filmed at the water. No. Could you imagine closing down this family water park <laughs> no. for this sequence? This looks like someone's house. Yeah, that's some movie magic there. That's not part of the original yeah. location. I'm just kind of bummed. I don't think in this whole movie David Keck... Keckner yells a Miami, you know, like he does in Anchorman. You can tell from all the pine trees that you're in North Carolina. Yeah. I wonder if that uh, the Russian woman that just got out of the pool is related to a fidget spinner <laughs> guy from Myrtle Beach. Because, you know, then now I can see why he doesn't, he's just happy there selling fidget spinners. Because, uh, is that the slide really there? That, that tube one? Mm, it's hard to say. Well, when was the last time you were there? Uh, last year. We usually, oh, we usually okay, go so. once each summer. But the only reason I only usually go once is because it's very expensive for what it is. It's a very small water park. And it's good. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's really good, but it is very pricey. About a yeah. hundred bucks for us to go for a day for the whole family. And well, isn't Carowinds, is, theirs is free, right? Right, yeah. So yeah, I mean, so think about the, the better value there. You can go get, for basically one admission, you get a water park and awesome Carowinds. Right. But, you know, at least yeah. this one's local. They have a, a fantastic arcade. They have go-karts, uh, mini golf, like I said. So uh, it's it's neat mm. to have it, you know, one close by. Nice. Oh, look at this. We got Katrina uh, Bowden from uh, 30 Rock, of course. Mm-hmm. And she was in that other horror movie, which was another horror exploitation uh, nurse 3D. So I guess she goes into, like, these... Uh, really adult themed horror films in 3D. Yeah. That's her shtick now. <laughs> after 30 Rock. <laughs> oh, that that's the what's it? Remember this dude? He was in. Uh, he's uh, one of the JTP from the Goldbergs. Oh yeah, you're right. JTP. Okay, and he was also in. Uh, remember, he played uh, Frito in Adventureland or whatever his name was. <laughs> he kept, yeah. he kept giving the uh, Jesse Eisenberg junk punches. That was great. <laughs> Uh, go JTP. I'm, I'm going to say that every time. No, I won't. Uh, this one, if you guys have watched um, Eastbound and Down with Danny McBride, they also filmed an episode in this water park. Really? Yeah. Oh. All right. So this water park is like, well, that's like that one, um, the one that Grown Ups filmed in. It was in um, uh, New England area there. They, they That one seems to uh, got two movies filmed at it too. It was Water Wiz. It was filmed uh, for the way, way back and um, Grown Ups. Mm-hmm. So water parks, I guess, are much much better uh, recognizable, I guess, in films than some of the theme parks are. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. She doesn't pick men well in movies, Daniel no. Panabaker. Because remember, she got the total doof in um in uh, uh Friday the Thirteenth. 
She got like the total total a hole guy, and now he's she's got this guy, which does not oh, seem legit. Or th- automatically fake, just seems sleazy. That was a fake shot there because there's no. That was all painted in apparently. And there's no is there like this this no. lake nearby like this? No, yeah, th- I this can't water park imagine. is like in the middle of the city. It's you know there's nothing around it but shopping and stuff. So. Yeah, I kind of like how they do that, though. They'll take, like, an area that's pretty recognizable to those around, and they, like, just put all the stuff around it that's not there. Yeah, and it's pretty Then neat. people are like, hey, that looks cool. I'm going to go there. And then they're so disappointed. Okay, a spoiler alert here. Chris- Christina Bowden does keep her, her clothes on in terms of uh, what you see. So I do remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she takes it off, obviously, there, but you don't see anything. So all you people hoping, sorry. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> If I happen to ride by this place and can snap some pictures, I'll take them and post them for you guys. Yes, he did. Yeah, remember, as, as what's kind of exciting, though, is is Wilmington actually, and, and North Carolina, just, I guess, right, have been, has a lot of filming done um, based on some of the stuff we've said historically, and, and the new Halloween was filmed around there. Right. Uh, we were most famous for Dawson's Creek and One Tree Hill. Uh, we've had some bigger movies. The uh, Ninja Turtles movie was filmed here. The uh, the r- original one back way back. Uh, Iron Man three was filmed here. And as we mentioned on this last episode, we are getting the Swamp Thing TV series will be filmed oh, here. Right. Yeah. And don't forget uh, Maximum Overdrive. Maximum Overdrive, of course. Yeah, Cat's Eye. <laughs> oh right, uh, yeah, King yeah, Kong yeah. Lives. I think was that. The name of it, King Kong Lives, I believe, was filmed here. Yeah, it must have been that one, because... Eh. The old joke. Yeah. <laughs> the old joke that's done in every kind of scene like this in movie histories. The uh, Ripley's Aquarium at Myrtle Beach has some piranha that you can... Do they, yeah, really? They're pretty cool looking. Hmm. And as they will tell you, they are completely harmless. Really? Now, did she really think his his, his junk just bit her? Mm. Like, I mean, because she goes, whatever you're doing, I don't like it. <laughs> it's pretty powerful. Yeah. I don't know. Something tells me. I just, that water didn't look good, pr- even without knowing the piranhas in there. Would you really want to skinny dip into some into a water like that? No. What is this all about? I like this van, though. This is very cool. But they're, they're praying before coitus. <laughs> <laughs> and this this is, of course, a major turn on, right? I guess by uh, doing a, a daily prayer right before. I mean, I mean I if I was a woman <laughs> and this guy took me to this type of van, I would run screaming for the hills. Right. It almost rivals that. What was it? The the um the blob where he the guy opens a trunk and there's yeah. like the whole like. <laughs> Okay, yeah, she she has a pair of furry handcuffs, but yet she's praying that before she does it, like she's never done it before. <laughs> well, that's what gets her out of it. I mean, it's a get-out-of-jail-free card. True, true. Uh-oh. What did she hit? I don't. What? What did they? Uh, they did the emergency brake. I guess she. I guess kicked. he never put it in park. Would that really set that rolling into the water like that? He seems very calm, <laughs> considering his van is just ruined. Yeah. Ah, oh, there goes all the shag carpet. That's why you don't get shag carpet in a van, though. That's right. Look! Look what! Could, look what! Obviously common occurrence happens <laughs> <laughs> he even shagged the table look he's got that's a total shagging wagon right I guess. <laughs> oh he's got the fuzzy dice oh too what a nice touch the oh boy it's like you've done this now leave my don't leave oh yeah that's right he's trapped I'm like why didn't he just go for help Durr, I forgot See, this isn't, I guess, a good, uh, good promotion for saying prayer before coitus because she did, and look what still happens. You know? right, they didn't even get to All do the act. Luck. I know she didn't get anything out of it. 
Wow, that's a very realistic looking fish. Yeah. <laughs> Weren't the other two just swimming in there nearby there too? Or how big is this lake? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, she's on the last bit of la last bit of a uh, truck before it goes in, I guess. Yeah, screaming his name should definitely work. What is that supposed to be? His arm? I think so, yeah. I think he broke his arm free. I yeah. I hope that is arm. <laughs> it's kind of a cool shot with the van going down in the water yeah. and the fish swimming around. And then the lit up water park. Oh, they came out. She came out. Oh, they came out unscathed. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. And lie number 75, this guy's probably told. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're back at the real water park. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think any pretty much most scenes you see Daniel Panabaker in probably are going to be at the at the real water park. Now there is, is some trickery. Thing? Okay, is that, that right there, you see that big slide in the background. That is like one of those. Um, I don't know what they call it. It's like almost like a half pipe. Oh yeah, is that there? Actually? Yeah, it's actually there. Yeah. Oh okay. I've never gone on one of those. I have. Still, it was I a lot of fun. It. it was. I thought it was going to be much scarier than it actually was. It was not as bad. You know, I, I, I'm really not a big water park person. I mean, Holiday World is one thing. And that one, that kind of like, you know, like once you've gone to the Holiday World ones, it's kind of, it must be hard to kind of go. Like, I'm going to be spoiled if I, you know, go, go by going there and then trying to, it's ruined to try and go to like a, just your average water park. After yeah. That. that. Oh my gosh. That's bad. Yeah. That's tremendously large too. Close up. What has she got in her hand? What is that? Like a floaty? What oh, is she's that? She's like the oh, pool she's... cleaner. Okay, oh, there's the toilet bowl. That's real. Uh, that one scared my daughter half to death when the first time she went on the... it. She loves it now. Wait, they didn't even open yet. It said one day till opening. They're just still prepping this place. All that nudity and it didn't <laughs> even open yet? <laughs> Let's see. What is this? Oh, that guy, he's all happy. He's like, oh, if, Paps. If you ribbon. find one girl that looks like this at our water park, yeah. I would give you 20 bucks. Oh my uh, gosh. Yeah. What? Nice. Okay, that's a foreshadow that he's good with the javelin thing. The highlight of this water park, they have a really good lazy river. <laughs> Believe it or not. Although this guy this guy is finding a new uh I guess role for it there. Yeah. He's making it not so lazy. <laughs> uh <laughs> Ah, this is good. I'm watching a film of a water park with beautiful sunny day, and I got like a rainstorm outside. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to start raining here too. Oh, week. there was a tiki bar thing. We should tell Mike. He might like this water park. There was a, a big tiki idol in the background. Ugh. And she blows chunks in slow motion. That wouldn't look good in 3D, I think. That would have had people pretending to wipe their legs and stuff. What's with this <laughs> dude? Ooh. Why? Why would that. he step in it? Yeah, why would he step in vomit, like jump on it intentionally? I don't understand. That guy is very odd. Uh oh. They found the old van. school towing. Like, yeah. I'm trying to figure out where this Winch. piece was filmed. These these outdoors. Is this guy like Yeah, it's it's gotta be I would well, is there any? There's got to be some lakes around. Like I can't imagine this had a big travel budget. No, this is uh, this is probably one of like the sounds and stuff around here. That that's what it looks yeah. like. Oh, look, he got out. <laughs> this guy looks like young Dolph Lundgren. Doesn't yeah, he, he does. <laughs> we'll just call him Young oh, Dolph. Young Dolph. Dolphin. Trita Bowden is, is using all all of her acting chops in this one. <laughs> <laughs> I like Danielle Panabaker though. I think she's good. She she was uh, what was what was the other? She was on some show, right? I guess she came from Disney shows or something, right? I had never. I've only seen her the first time I saw her. Encountered her was Friday the Thirteenth though, and I thought she was yeah, good. Yeah, I don't remember. 
Oh, it's the Solemn Lake shot. Yeah, that's got to be... Oh, that's so weird. I don't know where that is. Now, all that stuff in the background's painted in. There's water, water slides. Yeah, because it definitely does not look like it. That water park that looks kind of like a really cool, epic water giant water slide back there. And from what you said, they didn't have that in there. Yeah. So, eleven of her ex boyfriend, <laughs> she says. Uh oh, her toes are are spawning the piranha. <laughs> they shouldn't even notice that the thing jumped out of the water. That she attracts piranha, I guess, yeah, Katrina yes. Bowden. You know. Maybe she's like the Piranha Whisper. Maybe that that would have been the third one if they kept going with the series. <laughs> oh, they're busting I think through this one wood. Did so really? bad. Yeah. They oh they don't dope oh, and there she goes flipped off the thing. She really has bad luck in this movie. To get out like yeah. like she wasn't she wasn't trying. <laughs> good for a swim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these piranha are much more aggressive, I think, in terms of, you know, they don't, they seem to not stay in the water as much as they did in the first one. Was it the first one that had that, like, big, like, yeah, they were, like, real, like, deep below, right? And they would always come up and swirl up, right? Yeah, you're talking about the first, the, uh, the very, very first one, or the? Yeah, like, the, the first out of this series. Oh. The... And now she's on a raft. <clears throat> she's make oh, she's making this way more complicated than she has to. Yeah, just step over. It's... I mean, she wasn't that far, really. Wow, those are big piranha. Yeah. Well, that's why they're double D, they're double D piranha. Uh, See, it was a, it was a, it was a. You know, you kind of thought it was just they just meant the boobs, but no, they meant the. Uh, and oh they're both gosh. back she's in really the water. The worst. Uh, Doc negotiators I've ever seen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That's supposed to be Piranha Vision, I guess, that spin. Yeah. Why didn't they just do that in the first place? <laughs> that seems so much easier they got out of it. Oh. That. Well, there's that. Yeah, there you go. I guess that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you love to have one of those from the movie? Oh, like there's uh, like a yeah, uh, yeah, like the prop. <laughs> well, at least it's been twenty five minutes in there, and they've now finally the world knows about the piranha are right back here. He's like, get off me, I'm tired. <laughs> yes. Uh -oh. Good old Christopher Lloyd. We need the 1.21 gigawatts. <laughs> we must go back before the piranha spawned. <laughs> this guy's. why does he always talk calmly? He's a cop. He's just no matter what. You know, he's... he's yeah, he's a, he's a he's law enforcement. He's cool and collected. That, wait, she's a marine biologist. But wait, she's she's a marine biologist. I thought you worked at the water park. Maybe that's her side job. Oh, it, uh, double uh, entendre there. No. I see what they did there. Did you see what they <laughs> did there? <laughs> Some nice sky there. Where is yeah, this? Yeah, this is definitely not North Carolina, folks. I was going to say, this looks like the Badlands. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> how, how far did they drive away? Nice stock. In terms of plot, this movie is very simple. Yeah. It's <clears throat> a nice stock oh, footage there. moon there. Yeah, look, now they're back in Lake Victoria because they're going to go to where the... Uh, Original piranha were. Why? Why did they know about it so fast? I, that's what I want to know. Did, did we? Did I miss a line? Did they? Say? Oh, because <laughs> that guy, that... that guy, green shirt. Guy. Oh, he right, right. It. He said it. That's right. Back to the Future kind of uh Yeah. 
nod there. That means when Christopher Lloyd was in my hometown. I didn't know it. See? <laughs> You're here to sell me the Washington Post! Okay, now. Okay, so we're supposed to be in Arizona, which is known for its pine trees, I guess. Ah, uh, that makes sense. He's got them as pets. Nice. How'd they get him back for both of these? Yeah, like, I, I want to know. Wanna... Actually, they got a couple of people back for both of them that I'm shocked at in terms of their caliber of acting. I don't know why they got that. But... <laughs> you know what I wish he said? He goes, this one I call Jules and this one Van. <laughs> but, but he didn't. He just happens to have a piece of steel later. Yeah, on. right? Well, it's anything like Doc Brownie. He got plutonium when he ever needed it. You know, I mean, he did rip off the Libyans, but still, you know. It's like... <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's, the thing is, he so buys into this oh, role, yeah, Christopher it's, it's Lloyd. Great. I love it. Poor frog, though. This poor frog has no idea he was in a movie. I know. But he was on the Today Show. <laughs> the interview about it. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, that's smart. Reach your hand in. Where is he? Where's the piranha now? Is he still oh, in he's there? Still oh, there he is. Yeah, but see, the other ones are jumping up out. Why isn't he jumping out? That's what I want to know. This premise, although, is kind of terrifying if this were true. Imagine that, that all these piranhas were just living in underground like places and lakes. Oh, yeah. You would know which one. Tell me that would not make a great like theme park attraction though. Kind of like you know your your uh, creature in the black lagoon idea, where you're in one of those glass bottom boats with effects and stuff. Oh and... yeah, that would be cool. Like an adult version of the Jungle Cruise, you know, with like piranha, piranha. instead. Hmm, adult version of the pu- Jungle Cruise. Does that mean that the women are topless. Yeah, <laughs> in this one, this version, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Christopher Lloyd is the best. He never phones it in. He's he's always like never full full bore Christopher Lloyd. He is. He wants to do another Back to the Future too. He said. Really, I didn't hear that. Yeah, he just they, they were talking about it now, but they, I, mean, I think Zemeckis doesn't want to do it without uh, Michael J. Fox. So yeah, I can understand that. The Fish Walk Among Us. That's his book. Great. Although I have a feeling, it, and it may be 20, 30 years from now, I, I believe they will remake that movie. Oh, I, I, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it'll, it'll, you know, it'll never be our Back to the Future, but it'll, it'll, I'd still go see it because the storyline is still great. And think about it, it'll be so drastically different. Oh, yeah. Because you're not going to have that whole 80s thing oh, to it. Sorry if I... I mean, let me go back to the 80s actually that would be the thing yeah. instead of him going back to 55 yeah, go back, go to back to the, the 80s, 80s. Yeah. yeah oh there we go kickstarter number 142 <laughs> back to the 80s okay so okay. we hit a lull in the movie so i'm breaking out the uh the big guns my dead guy rogue oh so there you that's go a, that's always a good go-to <laughs> he's all excited about his hits <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
I would totally watch everything that if that Christopher Lloyd, that kind of character, was on YouTube. You know that would be one of the number one things. Oh, there's that girl that cool prayed. And she's I wonder eating. if they left that dummy down in there. That would be cool. Just leave that, it for somebody to Especially find. if it did that. Yeah. The key in 3D. Dun, dun. You can tell this was early in the 3D phase because there are so many gimmicky shots like that. Right, so right. Yeah. Anymore. Well, this was. Yeah. Well, this movie was meant to, to you know, to, to, to take advantage of those 3D. Look, it's just this water park right by the water there, <laughs> yeah. which is no, not as Tim said, not geographically uh, accurate. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my exact expression. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little nerve wracking though. There's something wrong with me. I don't know what, but but stick it in me while well, before I die. You know, it's like it's not too uh, awkward. GTP. <laughs> I was just going to say the same thing that she said. This must be a very important scene because we got quiet for a sec actually looking at it. I know. I'm sitting here enthralled by this movie now. I know. I'm like, wow, this is actually a, a semi-interesting dialogue. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> Or it could be Daniel Panabaker in, in the bikini yeah. bottom, but we, we don't know. It could be one or the other. I, don't know. I was kind of trying to figure out what this cop was doing. Yeah, I don't know. Why is he looking like in his own police car? Oh That's gosh. what it looked like he was doing. Now, he knows about the piranha, so why is she waiting out in the water? Yeah. And supposedly, if that guy's like, you know, the cop, like, has a thing for her, he's going to just let her dive in. He's not very heroic, this guy. Oh, she's like three feet out from shore, and there's already giant seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> They should have they should have sent uh the cop really should have been been chivalrous and jumped in. What is that? Like a gate? It kinda has like a Jaws three feel to me too, doesn't yeah, it? With the water it does. park being, you know, by the This is underwater shots of the sea world park. Just a pain in the ass to film. Oh yeah. He says it. Oh now he's like a big shot. You let mm-hmm. her go in there alone. I turn around and say, You're the cop, dude. What's up? So. I'm JTP. I gotta li- I gotta stay. So I guess she's checking the gate to the water park. Oh, okay. Oh, so they're inside, like, supposedly where they're not, I guess. Because that's right, because she was saying that the tube led to it. Oh, no, but they're in there, because they're, they're going after her. And they bit her in the ass. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's lots of them now. Her butt blood has uh, <laughs> attracted mm. them. <laughs> Da, da, da. What's going on here? Okay. Yeah, oh, now he goes so in. Smart. There's so many that come so fast. That's the thing. They make them look so fast, but yet they, they now they have all this time to get out. Uh, I thought for sure the cop was going to get it. And now he's in like prime, uh, <laughs> prime position there. Apparently, I must give you mouth to mouth. She said, I won't break. Well, they're doomed. Yeah. Yeah. The 
I love how he doesn't uh doesn't notice anything going on there. That's she's like spasming me out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting everything in the entire like. This I guess is the the sequel to that movie Teeth. Yeah. Right. So. Ow! They didn't have to show it. Yeah, I know. They. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly. Olivia what just I walked mean. in right when they showed. Oh that. no! <laughs> run, Olivia, run! Oh. <laughs> Ouch. I don't know if that's what I would do in that situation. No. I might have stabbed the fish, but <laughs> I don't know if I just slice like that, what he did. And now she's okay? Wait a minute, what the hell? So she vomits and shoots out a uh, piranha, and then, uh, and then now she's fine? Oh my gosh, that was crazy. She said she thinks she had an accident. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Olivia just got an eyeful there. Yeah, she came in at the like the the, the prime time. That. That. I I want I there must be so many piranha p- props in this that when you hit on them they shoot something out of its mouth because <laughs> yeah. that's like the third time. What's funny what is somebody had to? to be tasked with making that dick prop. I know, right? <clears throat> that it's like it, it only would have made that better with that knife if he had on like an old woman's mask, a uh, uh, hairpiece like, yeah. you know, like Norman Bates, you know. <laughs> That knife is like the Norman Bates knife. Yeah, it was, totally. Hey, look, it's David Kegner. Uh. Why the why is he like so like he's like such a chill cop. It's like annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on is he on the take? It's on the lowdown, that's why. So that's why he's allowed to make his like booby water park, I guess. Yeah. Because he was he he pays off the cop. Something tells me though that this this like this local cop, uh, he really wouldn't be the uh the like the the ruling body on uh, this case. No, probably the city council would have something to do with it. <laughs> yeah. So I think this David Kechner's just way wasting his money on this guy. <laughs> They advertised the damn park, for God's sake. Where's those, like, like, uh, like body cams at the police? I guess this wasn't before, it was before the time, right? Yeah. Otherwise, he would have been, he would have been busted for that. Oh, this was 2012. Not too yeah, long ago. That's... They're swimming. Oh, he, he. Wait, she got nibbled there? I thought it was. She got in the butt. I guess it was the ankle. Hmm. The... Oh, sorry, my phone just went off. Reminder record piranha. Double D commentary. That was Tim's alert. <laughs> 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 that's the best no, line in, mo- in movie history <laughs> that, that, that may be one of the best lines mm-hmm. ever that's like one of those quotes they would play a, during the Oscar like, clip for best actress kind of s- sequence you know which one wait who's this guy now which cop is this? Is this a different one? Or is it the same one? Same one. Oh, no, it is young Dolph. He looks different. Yeah. Dolph Youngren. Yeah. Young, <laughs> youngin. <laughs> I must break you. <laughs> he, if, he, if he doesn't say that in this, I'll be disappointed. 
Oh, yet another underwater seaweed shot. Yeah, I mean, it, they must have just, like, totally just threw a camera in the water and, like, grabbed it, like, at the end of the week. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. What is this? Oh, bathtub scene. Oh, it's Daniel Panabaker, but they'll probably strategically place items so you don't see anything. Ew, that's kind of nasty looking. It's a nasty piranha bite. You know, so many you see so many women do this in the tubs, like in movies where they like use your foot. Wouldn't you think like a better like someone should design a tub where like you can control it by the side <laughs> of the tub? Yeah. <laughs> by now, I meant you know, like I mean, maybe back then, but oh, there's a little nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, yeah, homage. All right. That. She looks crowded in that tub. She's not very ladylike either in that yeah. tub. <laughs> the way she was sitting. <laughs> She's setting her, the next guy that uh, oh boy. makes love to her. Is in for a yeah. surprise. Yeah, there's a lot of little baby piranha going in there. Ah, yeah. uh, fake Fold out you. dream sequence. <laughs> Hate those. Oh, I know. Okay, that here's is, the oh, wave pool. That's real. That's um, that's actually a pretty decent little wave pool. It's opening day. Is this hotel? This around is here? a Curie Beach, so we go down here a lot as well. So this is all um about 15 minutes from my house. Uh oh. Do you know who this is, Tim? Oh, I know who it is. It is the Hoff. Yes. Playing himself. Don't hassle the Hoff. You can't. You gotta love this. He did this and Sharknado. Oh, yeah. He's, like, now got a total niche of, like... I would totally do that. If I had had devolved into self-parody, I would totally make fun of myself. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And now they're making fun of his music, too. (laughs) Just need to have him eating a cheeseburger drunk. Yeah, right. (laughs) gonna hassle the half okay let's uh oh who's in there with him Hoffy is that the chick from the Viagra commercials I don't know I can't it's okay now let's see oh that's the one from uh she was just what did I just see her oh the girl next door that that movie with the Emil Hirsch where he like oh yeah dates Eliza Cuthbert yeah that was he's a There's party nice animal that half really a good lazy river shot yeah that doesn't look sanitary <laughs> no <laughs> for some reason you see oh my god just see her tattoo <laughs> it said fine dining and it was right above her. Uh area we'll say try not to sound totally uh perverted yeah. on this podcast i guess that's not weird oh yeah we probably should definitely like double up on the adult uh so there's the entrance right there for this one uh that you see behind him is the actual entrance to the place uh oh. see now look remember he was in the first one he was uh with uh why is he like friends now with ving roms he was like <laughs> with jerry o'connell like on his crew and now paul lashier is on uh See, look, there's the flashback to Ving yeah. Roms, what happened to him. But now he's like, why are they like buddies? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm so mad I didn't know now. all these people were in town. Thought that I could have seen them, but Damn. still. To. My brother uh, drank beers with uh, Paul Sh- Paulie Sh- It's Paul Shear, right? That's his name. Oh, really? Yeah, it was in. He he ran into him somewhere in L.A. once. Mm, I wish our lifeguards. Oh, the like lifeguards that. are yeah. yeah. <laughs> the yeah. kids looking over the fence. That would be young Tim yeah. growing up in uh, North Carolina, <laughs> peering over the. <laughs> oh, true story. We used to. Uh, there's a. Uh drive-in that used to show dirty movies 
<laughs> and um, this was way back when I was a little kid. How does that work? A drive? Yeah, there was actual drive-in that showed dirty movies, and there was a um, place you could go through this neighborhood and get up on a hill and look down and that- see it. Obviously, you didn't get the sound, but you could. Wow. Really, like anyone was looking for the sound, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think my uncle took me up there one time when I was little. This is a very long, dramatic scene for this type of movie where he's trying to get over his fear of water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're dead. Dump me in the water. He's yelling. <laughs> This is the strangest scene in history. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? They're right under the toilet bowl. <laughs> you know what the, the the worst part of this is? This is probably like three pages of script <laughs> to get this. Oh sequence. my gosh! Yeah, well, they got a lot of filler. I mean, their plot, basic plot, is Piranha invade water park. Yeah, right. <laughs> that that was a weird shot. Was it th- that other weird dude in the background again? Is like all so. See that in the background, that little parachute tower yeah. thing. That there, there is actually a kitty version of that. At oh, that really? park, yeah. Uh oh, here comes the Hoff. Yes, in the Baywatch outfit Cat. too. Yeah, he's full full Baywatch attire. This guy's spending a lot of money on this between paying off the cops and. And and the half. Mm. I love this guy in the background with the hair. Yeah, like that's that weird dude that was doing stuff to the pool filter. Yeah. I don't know what he's like. What's wrong with him? But <laughs> that right there is why I would sell out. You yeah, do stuff like that. <laughs> that. All the selfies. <laughs> uh, oh, he snubbed the poor lady. <laughs> Slow motion, Hoff. There we go. It's like, all right, I'm done. She's angry. I love watching, knowing that? these locations is fun to watch them cut from one shot to another shot that's literally miles and miles away. What is this thing now? Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's just how the problem Now is. the plot thickens. Woo. Mr. Moneybags there. (laughs) I think I think we see what's about to happen here. We might be getting a feeding frenzy soon, huh? Yeah. Crazy thing is, is Katrina Bowden still alive somehow in this? Right? She's somewhere. Yeah. I guess she's in the hospital in shock or something, right? I mean. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh my god, these effects are so bad. Yeah, that Piranha Vision effect, I kind of remember being in the first one. It was a little better. And it wasn't there, uh, it was in the originals, too. They had that really mm-hmm. cool version yeah. of it. Uh-oh, he's, they're in the pipes. They're in the pipes. Uh-oh. Here we go. And there was the foreshadowing of him yeah. be, them being able to slam through metal. Yeah, there's Piranha Vision. That's it, yeah. I got bit. Hmm. 
<laughs> I like her nonchalantness. My wife yeah. would be freaking out. <laughs> but I mean, in reality, though, if you were the, like, think about it, though, at the same time your kid came up and said, I got bit in like a water park, you would think it would be bit by like another kid yeah. or something. <laughs> half watch. Look, it says half watch like guard. That's awesome. That's awesome. The uh, real water park lifeguards do not wear those outfits, by the way. Yeah, they don't wear the not the outfit. not the bikini. No, I was talking about the bikinis in the background. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hey, check check my my really threw Broadway. that in. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. What? <laughs> That. That. There's the kitty section. I want to know the where, like he got bit, but no one else did at that point. Yeah, they're being particular. Yeah. Uh -oh. Here we go. I told you. <laughs> She'll say, I told you so. Ta Why was that like such an actually well acted scene? That was weird <laughs> to put into this film. <laughs> the thing about Piranha. We actually know a lifeguard. We should ask Ariel if she ever encountered Piranha in her pool that she works at. Yeah. Well, the thing about this is, in real life, it doesn't take long to evacuate a water park because I've been there when a thunderstorm rolls through. Right. And, you know, they got everybody <laughs> yeah, got out in, like, two minutes. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, my call. Yeah, no, I, um, the same thing happened. We were at Disney, and we got evacuated because a big thunderstorm rolled in in Florida. As you know, it's that happens a lot. So probably um, they're even better uh, trained there to get people out fast because those storms come in so quick. Yeah. Why is he, like, just dressed as a shark? Shark boy. That. Nah. Now he shows his real color, true colors there. <laughs> but he's not the nice guy, as you might have thought. These piranhas are being very slow at gra going after people, though. These people are still in the water. I know. Well, because she got interrupted from like trying to yell, like to tell them. And there's she's, a good like, floating head first yeah. in there. Oh no, she's going under. Oh, that's yeah. Like there's a, a walkway a that goes thought... above the lazy river. Oh, check that out. I thought it was like a. Uh... Did she not come out the other end? What happened? Oh, there she is. That's the actual rafts too. I mean, that's the actual uh, tubes too. Ah, so she used a real prop. Uh oh. She was getting eaten from underneath, I guess. Uh oh, now they now they've had it. There we go. Now yeah, now, now we, we got now we got the, the the buffet, yeah. I like how she's whistling for people to Yeah. Ugh. That whistle can't even be heard over the screams. The A lot of red water. You know what actually I just thought of a great idea that they've that I don't think has ever been done yet? How imagine making a haunt at a water park? So oh, you have aquatic haunts! Now that how would great be cool. would that be? Right, like a haunted lazy river. That would be awesome. I mean, logistically tough, which is probably why it hasn't been done. But it would be so probably. Cool. But I bet we could figure it out. I bet if we. Uh... Well, there was a haunted. Uh, Knots had a haunted log flume. Oh right, they did, and that log flume was awesome to begin with. So I can't even imagine it. That's like my, that's my favorite log flume of all time. Uh oh, look, Ving Rams is getting uh. Uh oh, uh -oh. he wants his legs now. He's ready. <laughs> <clears throat> There's some Planet Terror action going on. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a gun. I thought he locked that gun on. Didn't he? It didn't look like he put a gun on his leg. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, see, he, oh, does, yeah, he does, does have a gun. Have a yeah, see. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's it. I think this is where all the effects went to Ving Rams's leg effect. So it's, that... it's like shooting fish in a wading pool. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he's, like, saving people left and right. Still don't understand Paul Shear's role in this. <clears throat> I thought he died in the first one anyway, but I guess not. That... Yeah. I wonder if when he got those installed, he said, By the way, can you make sure there's a gun in there just in case I have to shoot Piranha at some point? <laughs> I love how David has off is just sitting there calmly watching the carnage. Yeah, I know. He's... Oh, but that's his buddy now is in trouble. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. See, he sees his, his, his new friend. Yeah. Or not. Heh. 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 Love it. Did you watch the Baywatch yeah. remake they did or the The movie, movie the with movie? the rock? Yeah. yeah, it actually wasn't bad. Somebody was telling me it wasn't that bad. I might have to watch that. It was it was, you know, I mean, it was it was like, you know, it's exactly what you would expect. Typical rock. Yeah. Fair, you know. And I want to say it's like, didn't, wasn't Alexander Daddario, is that's like a new team up with them too. It's like they did like three movies together. Because they did uh, San Andreas, right? And now uh, this oh, the, yeah. the Rampage, yeah. I think she was into, and that. My kids love The Rock. They are like total Rock fans. They're actually showing at my uh, apartment complex. They were showing yesterday, I think like in the, the theater, The Tooth Fairy. Yeah, my kids rock. love that movie. Yeah, the rock is rock is, is definitely advanced into to a big money draw that that t- he just puts out entertaining stuff. Uh, you know, we love him or hate him. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of carnage. I love how he's still sitting there; he hasn't moved. <laughs> uh oh. That. These people are still in the water. I How know. Why are there so many still How in there? How is this possible? Because it'll take... It won't take as much time to drain the pool as it would to just get the people out. Yeah, yeah. Let them, like, drain out with the water. <laughs> uh-huh. JTP to the rescue. I'll have to tell my story sometime of how uh, my entire workforce thought I was gay. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, look, there's his Russian friend. Oh, she got... Wow, that went right in his mouth. Her mouth in there. Oh, that hurts. Ouch. <laughs> this guy's oddly calm for yes. Piranha and his... his... Oh, there's way too much man butt in this movie. Yeah. That he's grabbing his money. <laughs> Dramatic moment by David Kechner. Yeah. For just a split second he he had a conscience, but yeah. now he does not. <laughs> that is so <laughs> Throw money on your dead mom. Yeah, it's yeah. He's like, here, take it. And she's looking at it's it. Like a dollar bill. Oh, and I rolled over the mom. <laughs> it's so horrible. <laughs> what did this poor woman do to deserve that role? Oh. Uh. Why is oh he still my god. Driving? <laughs> He's still driving. <laughs> oh my god. She caught his head. <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess he went out the way he yeah. meant to, and now his head is thrown into the water. There's some seriously strong flags. Good gracious. D- 
Well, there's that rock work again, right? That's yeah. Fake they literally just did they just draw that on with paint? It looked like. Yeah. Is that how it is no, there too? No, no, no. This guy's in pretty good shape still for just what he went through there. No, don't go back Man, in the water. I'll go into the water. Oh my gosh. Why would she dive in? Oh, oh, this she's getting people out. I thought she dove into the other one. Okay. Oh, uh, I see what they're doing. That's why she said to Oh, drain, the, drain the piranha out. Okay, now that makes more sense. Yeah, now that made sense. Yeah, it wasn't for the people. Okay. And now, but yeah, she's in there, so she's going to get sucked down. I hate that this plot line is eluding us, Brian. Like, we must be drinking too many beers if we're, yeah, if we're not seriously. grasping all the nuances of the plot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the intricacies that they worked so hard to put out, put forth on film. We're just... What is wrong with him? He won't pull her out? Oh. Why can't he do that? What did I understand? He couldn't save her? He lied. I think she knows too much. Oh, right, right, right. Really, like, his deputy job in this, ta this town is, is, is that worthwhile. She's getting really sucked out, but he can't swim, but now he's going to swim. Lit. Except at some level when you can't swim and you're going to try and save somebody, is that really helping them no. in this case? Uh-oh, what's that? Is that the piranha well, it's coming like the through? Piranha oh, it's like a bigger one. That's like a bigger one, isn't it? So what did he do? He dove in just to get out? Apparently so. That... Is that like a giant one or is it just a regular one? Hey, it looks bigger than the other ones, right? But she's still in there, so... She's... She's still trapped at the bottom. At this point already, she... Uh-oh. Oh, see, it is a bigger one because he just ate the smaller one. Uh oh, he's got the trident. Do you think he was really aggravated when he wasn't cast as Aquaman? <laughs> da, da, da. What a shot! Yeah, the... I really hope the Aquaman movie's good. Yeah, uh, the trailer debuted at Comic Con. I, was, I didn't watch that. I one think yet. it's actually out now for full release. You can. Yeah, yeah, I think it's yeah, I think you could I think it was saw it on iTunes. Or you know the you know the uh, sorry, Apple TV where they do the trailers, you know, mm -hmm. you have that trailer app. Is she ever going to get out of the water? She's been in there for like a minute, 5 minutes and like 35 seconds already. She would have she has to be drowned. Well, now she's passed out. Okay. I was going to say at this point already and her flailing around has would have had to get her What did he just do? He sunk him. Oh, he's got a brick to get him down to the bottom. Oh, he's very clever, this guy. And they say Barry Goldberg is the brains of the JTP. <laughs> I beg to differ after this. <laughs> and he's going to be, now wake up, because I can't swim, so oh you got to get us out of here. <laughs> For a guy who can't swim, he's remarkably together yeah. underwater. And first of all, why, that is a surprisingly deep pool for a pool that was supposedly half-drained by now. Yeah. Wasn't this the one drained? I don't know. And it still got the wave action going oh, on. Oh, but I guess she blocked it. I guess she blocked some of the water. I guess by, by being sucked on against the, the the hole for it, she blocked some of it. Dramatic shot now, Tim. See, they they said they said most people can't keep up with our intricate <laughs> plot, so we'll just dazzle them with some some cool camera trickery. And slow motion spit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the music. This is how I've always dreamed of our first kiss would be. Surrounded by dead bodies and piranha. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I 
I will say I'm not going to be able to revisit this water park again in <laughs> quite the same well, way. Definitely not look, yeah, <laughs> definitely not look at it the same way. You'll be looking over there, oh, and that's where the boobs were, yeah. there's where this guy's head was. This is where David uh, Hasselhoff sat. Yeah. This guy is still, he's still like, leaning against the trying fence, to be a man. Yeah. yeah, he still wants to be a man, but he can't. Oh, now he's going back. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's great he's he's literally picking up an e eaten corpse <laughs> I love it he's like look I saved the day this guy's still doing something wow, look at this what did he pour in there pouring oh uh. Nah. Oh, I see. He's gonna do that. Oh, he's lighting it up. <clears throat> now, does that effect happen at your, the water park in reality? No. Like every half hour, those oh, big man, explosions awesome, happen. It? Yeah. So how many people actually sur survived, do you think? I, so there's just random dead people all over the place. Snack shack. Oh. So they actually fire this fish in the air, or they have somebody just slinging them, I wonder? I don't know. <laughs> Do you think the document the documentary should this be called Piranha Bean Pictures? <laughs> oh, no. uh, <laughs> uh, they're all dying. Sad piranha. Uh, real, oh, real fish out of water. Yeah, town. that's some good hot dogs. They just ruined fish out of water. It's a little fish out of water story. No one gets you wetter. What's the real water park name again? Uh, it's called Jungle Rapids. That's right. That's right. Okay. Why is his pitchfork there? Oh, that's right. Nice. Ah, <laughs> collateral that's great. damage. Ooh, right in his eye, too. Uh. Yeah, he, uh... <laughs> he said, F fork you, <laughs> I tell you. Who do you think is the most unlikely survivor in this movie to this point? Do you think it's that guy that just like lit that uh, thing on fire? Yeah, the uh, the big fat guy. Yeah, he guy. had to be. He was so destined to be killed off five minutes into the. I love the lazy river with just blood seeping everywhere. <laughs> and he's back in his life right see, here. See, that would be great around Halloween. You make the blood, the lazy bloody yeah, river. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Huh? 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 <laughs> they actually they ate a kid in this movie. Oh my gosh. Duh. Oh wow. So that was that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I love that though. It's like they they and what's funny is that you knew they were totally setting up a sequel that was now never made. Yeah, exactly. Because obviously uh there was uh they were setting up the three and look it's like the movie's still going on behind the end credits so we can't leave yet Tim no. just in case something of importance happens and black and white no less and what a s artistic touch there I know but red credits to simulate the blood oh Gary J Tunnicliffe you know, I... Cliff 
I've <laughs> seen his name before. Do you know, I, th- I think that, like, you know, people who just look at this as, like, one of those exploitation movies, they may be missing something, but they're probably actually not. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually seeing it exactly what it is. Matt now, oh, Matt Bush. Bush that's yeah. the one that JTP dude. Kinder? That's his name. Yeah. There he is. Zilka. I think, I wonder if that's young Dolph Lundgren or Younggren as Katrina Bowen with Gary Busey and Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> There's the half. Clue Gulager. I like that name. He was in that? Where was he? Wait a minute. He, he's the guy that's in all those Return of the Living Dead movies. Where the heck was he in this movie? Unrecognizable, apparently. He was Mo. Oh, my God. He was, I think, the guy in the beginning that was with uh, oh. Gary Busey. The- <laughs> nice. Look, we get extra, extra half. See, now this movie, this makes it worth it. We actually get a trident-laden David Hassel- yeah. Hasselhoff music video at the end of this. Why did they get him for Aquaman? I know, right? Aquahoff. That would have been great. <laughs> I would totally watch Dave this. Hunter. I would so watch I would this. too. Oh my god. That was so random. They should have totally made that. Wait, back to... I wonder if... The, wait, I, I can't remember if there's like some kind of... Ed, look at this. Wait a minute. There's... It shows there's eight minutes left oh, in know. this movie. Or nine minutes left in this movie. I was just looking at how many credits movie. are left to this. But wait, nine minutes of credits from this point? There's got to be an extra scene or something. Because mine shows 113 of 122. Yep. Me too. Oh my god. What's 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 to come? This is <laughs> this is like very uh, like I don't wow. Well, let's just take a minute to talk about uh we're glad you guys Oh. Yeah. Oh. Jump scare. That. Okay, we got outtakes, I guess. This. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Well, look, we get comedic things here. <laughs> I like how they cut to him after she yeah. said that, and they're like, "What is this?" So it's going to intersperse goofs and. It's so funny they totally added this whole sequence just because they were so sh- below like the uh the feature length yeah. uh time. This movie literally ended 5 minutes ago. Exactly. And it's still going on for another 8 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> See John Gulager is the director of this. I wonder if he was like Clue Gulager's son. Huh. We have to research that. We'll research that for you on a later episode. Imagine they said, all right, we need to fill a few minutes. Yeah. All right, let's just film a Hasselhoff taking off his sunglasses for, for five of them. Hmm. <laughs> 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 All the songs are ready. Nice. <laughs> he tripped. Oh my god. It's so funny how long these uh, like long. I actually thought I would like my. I had a mistake like on my on the display. Yeah, I had two. I was but like, yours matches. Nine left of this. Yeah, like wow. What what plot points are they gonna go over now? You know. See how long our listeners can hang on listening to us. Maybe the first, I know, right? Time. Maybe the first Civil Gore fa- uh, sanctioned movie should be Piranha 3. <laughs> <laughs> like Fish Hunter. That should be it. <laughs> That's the tagline. Hmm? Piranha 3 Fish Hunter, starring <laughs> David Hasselhoff.
I could see David Koechner probably being like this all the time. Oh yeah, he's probably like such a fun guy. Oh, and I just realized there's another Goldberg's collection uh, connection because remember he plays uh, Laney, uh father in ah, Goldberg's. There you go. So look at that. There's a Goldberg's connection here in Piranha Double D. See, this is the hard hitting news that Civil Gore likes to bring you during <laughs> its commentary. <laughs> All the obscure actor relationships. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you Daniel Panabaker like is fun to ha- fun like to talk to at like a convention or yeah, something. Yeah, probably so. She looks like she's fun. And look, this guy is finally showing personality like in real yeah. life. I guess he he's really acting. That. <laughs> 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 This is the best part of the whole movie right here. I know, the fish hunter. (laughs) You know what's what's gonna happen now. We you know what we should do? Since we're never gonna really get we should work on a sketch. See, this is for the bone people. You may hear an idea in the making here for those who stuck around to watch our end credit commentary. (laughs) Maybe we should do like a sketch that is actually Piranha 3. Like an audio sketch version of this. It'd be awesome. Since I don't think Civil Gore will ever get the budget to actually create a, a visual movie. No. Of this. Not of this caliber. No. <laughs> caliber. <laughs> Funniest thing, I bet you we could get like David Hasselhoff to, to lend his voice. No, he's actually still, still too popular. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> There's really a lot of extra half. Oh in this my movie. gosh! Aren't you glad you didn't turn this off yet? <laughs> <laughs> How many people sat in the theater and watched this whole thing? Sad thing is, I probably would have been one of them. If I, I probably would the have. Theater. Too, yeah. <laughs> Tim and I would have been the only two in the theater. It's the director? Yeah. The. The. That kid's funny. Jeez. More Piranha Vision. Well, thanks to everyone who's listened to us so far. These commentaries yes, are always thanks. a lot of fun to do. Yeah, and I'm glad you actually like stuck around for the extra Hoff stuff. Oh, what is that? Well, that was a good sequence. Yeah, why did they actually delete that? I would have kept that in. That looked good. Now maybe this is the actual official end. This might be, because yeah. now there's only three yeah, minutes They're showing left. the caterers at this point. So. Yeah. Look, and it says Hoff's caterer. No, it doesn't. No. I was trying to see if they would uh, if they list the uh, location and everything. They usually do that. There's there's Gary J. Tunnicliffe. So actually, I'm looking. I'm going to look now to see what kind of. I didn't never really bother to look at this. I want to look at the special features. Um. Oh my God. Okay. Look at the special features on the Blu-ray here, which I may have to watch and report back later. So there's filmmakers feature commentary, which has got to be kind of funny for this. The story behind the double D. The Hoftastic World of David Hasselhoff. Oh my gosh. Busey's Bloopers, Wet and Wild with David Koechner, and Deleted Scenes. And then, I don't know what this is, but it says, A Lesson with John McEnroe, a Dimension short film. Hmm. What on earth did I get on t- into with this disc? I gotta look. I might have to watch these extras and let you guys know. Because that seems like... I don't think I ever really watched the deleted scenes on this. By the way, this was 83 minutes long. It was rated R for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah, 83 minutes, 30 of which were the credits. So. You yeah, seriously and like what I think we need to do who's do we have a mathematician out there that watched this with us? I want to know the uh uh shot per half ratio <laughs> in this movie though. I'd like to know. Credits included. 
So, okay, I think, yeah, but you're right. Too. But I bet I would not be surprised if there is actually a one last, like, one stinger at scene the end of some stinger. sort. Yeah. Yeah, and it, wouldn't it be funny if it just sets up the Marvel Universe, though? <laughs> Thanos appears. Great. You yeah, would have done like back Thanos. in 2012 if you'd sat through the whole credits. Yeah, see? Look at if you just paid attention. Look, Love Hunter, written by John Gulager and performed by David Hasselhoff. Wow. So we got to look out. Is there credits? Of, I mean, is the uh, soundtrack available? Is it here? Let's see. Oh, look. Wait, here's the thanks. Let's okay, produce some one thank. Maybe that water park will be Start listed here, right? It should be. I'll probably show it, though. There we go. Wilmington. Screen Gym Studios. North hmm. Carolina. Yeah, there it goes. Wilmington, North Carolina. So, but they didn't, didn't say the, the water, water park. park's yeah, name. I guess they don't give them advertising. Yeah. Maybe they said, please don't name, put our name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that might be more accurate. People show up looking for David Hasselhoff <laughs> and dead piranha. All right, guys. Well, that was fun. We appreciate you hanging out with us for another commentary. Yes. Oh, wait. There's still a couple seconds left. There might oh, be something. No, no the no. Dimension oh. Film logo is there. Now we know it's over. But yeah, thanks for joining us. And uh, We do love doing these commentaries. We'll probably do more in the future. We figured this one would be a good time because uh, based on our travel. So yeah. So hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next week with a, an actual real life episode, but hopefully this little filler Kept you entertained while we were out on vacation. Yes, and we'll, we'll obviously report back on our vacations, even though they're not really too horror related. Although Tim's might have a little bit more than than mine, but yep. So I guess we'll we'll go over that. So anyway, guys, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. I guess. All right, later, guys. <laughs>